In the previous class, we talked about roles management. So we created this page. If I go to security, we created the roles page and here you can manage user roles. It means you can add a role, you can delete a role, you can edit a role as well and you can see all the roles here. Now, we also want as an administrator to be able to manage our users. We know that users can actually register from registration page, but as an admin, you should be able to kick out the user if you want. You can also be, uh, should be able to add roles to the user, delete roles from the user, and so on. So you should be able to see a list of your users and choose which one you want to manage. And that is where we have user management page. So this is gonna be, a very short class we are going to create this page displaying all our users and then we have a button that says manage user when you click on this button it will now give you a page where you can now manage this user information like giving him a role delete uh, on assigning him from a role and so on so let's go ahead to get uh, to it if you are joining for the first time please subscribe to my channel because in this case you don't miss an update and you also leave me a comment if you have any challenges following my class whatsoever and like this video as well and share it and if this is your first time please go back to start from the first class because this is a series that you need to actually take step by step so if i go from security i go to users we see we don't have a user management page so let's create this page right now actually i'm going to uh, create this page in the security uh, folder. So I'm going to say new is going to be HTML page. I'm going to call it users. So I've created a new page. Now I'm going to, I already have the content of this page. So it's basic content of a uh, list of items just like we already have. So I'm going to simply copy and paste the content of this page. All right, so the content of this page is pasted right here. And this page is going to receive list of users. So it means that we need to go to user service and write a method to return list, uh, list of all users. So I'm going to simply come here in the user service and write a method. It's going to be uh, private, uh, private, sorry, um, I think we can make it public list of user. And it's going to be get all um this is going to be a return user repository dot find all so this is going to be a method that returns all the users uh there because we are going to sign this list of users to be displayed on the page all right so in my user controller i'm now going to add a method that actually returns a list of users and sends it back to the uh, to the HTML page, so it's going to be at get mapping to slash uh, uh, security slash users. I think that should be it. Uh, we are going to check, but for now, let me just assume it's security slash users slash users, and it's going to be public uh, get all. Um, a public list of users list of users is going to be get uh, all and it's simply going to return list of all the users but there is a catch we are not returning a json object uh, a json response but we are returning a string which is actually the html template so it's going to be string um, get all and it's going to take model as first parameter model model okay so i think this should be coming from ui okay so i'm going to say model dot attribute dot add attribute i'm going to be i'm going to say users and i'm going to say user service dot get all okay so we are getting all the users and we are sending it back to the HTML template via the model attribute users. And we are simply going to return, um, I think it's going to be security slash users. So let's go check. So from the homepage, um, 
let's go to the home page which is this invite page right and we have this slash security slash users that's fine and that's what we return here slash security slash users um yeah so and also we have this slash security slash users so it should be fine so let's go ahead to test it and, and see if it works and then we we continue in the next class so we just put this trailing uh this uh leading uh, trailing slash here i think okay so let's just run this application so i'm going to stop uh maybe i'm just going to say file save all i'm going to run it and now we want to see the user management page displayed for us and let's see and then we continue uh, from there all right so if i go back here i'm going back and of course i'm going to log in and this time i'm going to use us now we have the user management page now okay so we have our user management page we've succeeded in doing that but how then do we manage users like assign role on assign role even kick out a user delete this user and also maybe um we have first name last name username that's fine and we want to display the details we want to manage the role we want to delete a user these functionalities we have not added it now but we are going to be doing it in the next class so uh, remember you need to keep subscribed also activate notifications so that when i make the next class which is which is going to be tomorrow because i make these classes every day you are going to be able to see it and later on after two days i'm going to now make permission uh, a role-based permission and authentication i mean this is called authorization where you have certain pages are restricted for certain users a user who is hr admin should not have access to accounts and, and so on and so forth so we are going to be doing that later on uh, later on this week for now i'm going to be stopping here please like and share this video if you have a comment please let me know in the comment box below i remain kind on the tech pro and i'm always there for you